Here you go. Pick up the camera. Filming, really? Yeah. How embarrassing. Surprise. All right. Okay. We are enjoying the uh, ubiquitous nor rice sides. This is actually the Cajun sides. Red beans and rice. Um, this is what it looks like when it's cooked. But um, before that, it's pretty much instant rice dried beans, seasonings, and you add your uh, boiling water to that, and uh, mix it up a little bit, and fold it over, wait 10 minutes, and uh, pretty much cooks in this little pouch. It's, it's uh, paper and foil lining, and uh, just put uh, some extra tin foil on there to help insulate it and make it less messy in case there's a leakage or anything. Um, and if you want to cook it extra good, you just toss it in the uh, freezer bag cooking cozy. You can get from freezerbagcooking.com. It has a mylar lining inside and this uh, nice woodland camouflage uh, outer. And uh, so we're just kind of enjoying ourselves. Mm. Interesting note that uh, 32 ounces of water is enough to cook two of these meals and two cups of tea. So, just because um, you're out here roughing it doesn't mean you can't enjoy a hot meal with uh, a friend and two dollars beats MREs hands down there's a lot of ways that you can uh, and some some people have probably said this tastes better as well it's certainly probably better for you although there's a lot of salt in this um you know there's trade-offs but again if you're if you're low on cash it's not a bad way you can lower the price by using your own instant rice, eating some bullion cubes, throwing together what else you, whatever else you want in there, dried vegetables and the like. You lower the price even more if you have your own dehydrator and you do all this yourself. Yourself cook, cook the rice and dehydrate it. I've said all this stuff before, but I'm just saying it again because uh, it's important and it works, and we're out here doing it. And I think uh, Brog can attest to that. So, we're out here enjoying ourselves. Uh, this is the uh, guy designed squishy bowl, or squishy cup rather. Here's a bowl just holding our utensils and garbage and stuff. And uh, so, we keep everything out of the dirt, you know. That's kind of important. It's. Uh, be hard to keep everything clean out here in the field so we're trying to do that while we're getting rained on it's been pissing rain for about an hour and uh it's, it's pretty cold we were seeing our breath earlier with wind chill it's about 34 degrees right now and uh actually i'm kind of underdressed Usually I wear more than this, but the other day I was taking it off and trying to avoid sweating. So I went a little bit light today and then realized it was raining, so. But I generally got enough kit that I can see myself through rain if I have to. I'm kind of toughing it out right now. Toughing it, you know, toughing it. With a hot meal sitting by the, by the seaside here. Someone that once said that, uh, you know, why inconvenience yourself? Why, uh, kind of go out of your way to do this kind of stuff? I mean, believe me, it's fucking cold right now. And we're wet and kind of tired. At least we're not hungry. And, uh, that food was pretty good. Especially, you know, 
having that out in this kind of weather really warms you up and makes you feel a lot better. But, uh, yeah, I've heard people talk about that. It's like, uh, you know, you shouldn't inconvenience yourself. You should, you know, I guess get an RV and, you know, try and stay as comfortable as possible. It's just a lot of people, that's how we are today. We're, the society's too comfortable with everything. We're too used to our privileged lifestyles here in North America, especially in parts of Europe. And if something were to go wrong, something go bad, you have a shit the hand, uh, shit hits the fan situation, then people fucking flip out. They won't know how. Hand, shit, hand shits the fan? Hand shits the fan. Uh, shit hits the fan. But yeah, if, you know, shit went down, people wouldn't know how the fuck to deal with it. You know, if your average fucking Joe found himself homeless, nowhere to go, with uh, Gestapo's running around, or Bigfoot, or God knows what, and he was thrown out here with nothing but the clothes on his back, maybe a few of the random stuff he could get out of his house, he'd be fucked. You know, there's no way you're getting by with jeans and a fucking t-shirt, maybe a sweater, and some kitchen knives. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Good luck fucking heating up those TV dinners out here, bitch. <laughs> so, why inconvenience yourself? Well, to train yourself physically, mentally, and if you believe in it spiritually, to live, survive, and be comfortable even in this. You know, it's not just about survival, it's not just about making it by day after day when everything goes to hell. It's about being able to be comfortable and not worry about it. Because nothing's worse than just surviving. Surviving is a terrible place to be. It's a terrible state to be in. So you want to make sure that you cannot, you can ju not only survive, but also be comfortable and not, I don't know, flip out out here because... <laughs> Well, you've probably seen Castaway, so you know what I'm <laughs> When you start talking to a ball, you know, you need to get your head checked out. This is also why it's good, hopefully, to have a friend, a comrade, that you can get stranded with, so you don't go completely insane, or to have an extra meal in case you guys run out of food. So... Yeah, that's why you should go out here. That's why, especially if you're concerned about the state of the world, this kind of training, this kind of conditioning will be invaluable. It will really help you out in the, the year, years to come. <clears throat> so, just the experience is what you need to get used to, because if you're not used to it and you get thrown out here, you're not going to make it far at all. You need this experience, you need the training, you need to be used to it. You need to know these woods, or any woods near your, your residence. You need to know the rural area so you don't get completely lost in case something bad happens, or you have to navigate around or escaping the day, Bigfoot, or aliens. And, you know, we all need to become better human beings, better adept at survival and living. It's not just about your goddamn khakis and your goddamn Porsche and your goddamn IKEA furniture. about the world. There's more to the world than a fucking shopping, a shopping catalog. Which way are we fucking going? 
See, hey. I need to train more because I don't know which way I'm fucking going. You know? But then again, I'm not from around here. I'm not from these parts. Well, if, and if you uh, if you rely on that stuff, then when it's taken away from you, what do you have? Yes, if you rely too much on the infrastructure that's been built up, if you rely too much on your plush lifestyle, and all that was stripped away, how are you gonna make it? Oh, that will never happen, you're crazy. You know, we have nothing to worry about. You know, yeah, tell that to people in New Orleans. Tell that to the people in war-torn parts of the world. Argentina. Tell that to the people in Argentina. Tell that to the people in Chile back in the 70s. So, you need to be able to survive when things are stripped away. You need to be able to survive without the infrastructure that's been built up. Survive and be comfortable, if you can be. And hopefully you can continually train yourself to strip away more. Because, hell, there are guys out there who could probably survive with nothing more than a knife. You know, we're not those guys. Not yet. We're working on it. We're working on it. And it. It's not even like you should primarily only go out with a knife or something, no. It's just... If not you, if you're training. If you're, not you'll if you're kill training. yourself. If you're, you're training, you need the, this stuff, you know. You need something, at least. But, uh... You want to continually train yourself. Start stripping away more and more and more. So you can get by with less and less and less. And that way, when things do go bad, and you hopefully have all your gear, then it will be a walk in the park. And if all that stuff is stripped away, if you do lose pretty much everything, then you can hopefully get your hands on a knife, or hopefully you still have a knife, and that's essentially all you would really need if you, if you could really get to that point, which is damn fucking hard. If you don't get to that point, don't feel bad, we're not there either. Yeah, I've always thought about it, like, um, what would I prefer, like, having something to start fire, or a knife? Something to start fire? Well, I mean, if you have a knife and some flint, yeah. you have the stuff to make a fire. Yeah. Um, also, with a knife, you can, uh, fashion, say, a, uh, like a, uh, with uh, a fire starting bow kind of thing. Yeah. Or, uh, I mean, you could you could get by. You could uh, you could get by with either. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking about it, like yeah, nice. because I could make a knife out of out of uh, stone, some kind. Yeah, but of shells, it would be harder. It would be harder. It would suck. It wouldn't work as well. <laughs> Yeah, true. You have to continually dispose of it and make a new one. Yeah, I'd probably probably rather have a knife, but yeah. And hopefully you can acquire some flint out here. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know about the local geography a whole lot, but maybe you can come across flint. And yeah. that's another thing. Familiarize yourself with the resources in your area, with the uh, things that you can use. And also familiarize yourself with geography. Especially geology. tinder, you can light a fire with naturally. Yeah, tinder. Yeah. But familiarize yourself with geography, geology, botany, uh, animal husbandry, hunting, know the ani what animals are in the area, know what plants are poisonous and which, one are, which ones are edible. know what you can use in your area and what it can be used for.
Big tree is big. We are path clearing here. We are taking this tree that has fallen into the path and we are moving it forwards out harming the local vegetation so that hikers will not injure themselves coming into contact with this tree. Let's watch out that tree. Let's make sure we don't hit that one. Oh, hold on. Let me get out of the way. Whoa! Clear? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Clear. Whoa, whoa. There you go. I think that does the job. Yeah, that's good. Alright, go just push on this. I'm sure it's good right there. It's out of the way. It's gonna fall down. There we go. Success. So the idea is never leave a mess. Clean as you go. Leave no trace. And leave things better than you found them. Exactly. My dad always used to say that. Leave things better than you found them. Yep. And uh, hopefully we'll avoid getting molested by park rangers. Actually, they're pretty uh, docile around here. They just kind of hang out in the exits. I've never seen them actually inside the park. So it should be fine. Awesome. Unless somebody complains. A can that we discovered fully out. And I smushed it and I'm taking it with us. Excellent it's thing to do with that is put it in your max edition. Really pulley done touch. Evidence. <laughs> National Institute of Justice certified for evidence collection. <laughs> Don't worry, where's the census bureau? Okay, we all eat it once, that's the deal. <laughs> okay. Alright, everybody like 
like raspberries? I guess. And then I want my money. Yummy. <laughs> 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 you <know me. laughs> There you go. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, yeah. save it. We're all gonna bite at once. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna sing sing for nice over here. Oh god. <laughs> all right. Mmm, <laughs> smells delicious. All right, here we go. Okay, everybody. Uh, did anyone check the the shelf date? <laughs> no. <laughs> bread was created. No. Uh, yeah. If we had the original packaging, we could tell what the inspection date was. But, but we, we don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> we bought this separated. Yeah. Step one, eat bread. <laughs> Step three, vomit. <laughs> there we go. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Just tastes nothing like bread. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. What are the flavors that you're tasting here? I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that... It's it like I'm eating dough. <laughs> the fact that... It sort of does taste like bread. Suggests that... Maybe bread is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> if you can make it shelf-stable, it tastes the same. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And God knows how old this is. Yeah. There does seem to be almost like a musty yeah. <laughs> undertone. Yeah. Like oh. you can feel the sort oh, of like I got dog on ancient mummified <laughs> <laughs> bread. <laughs> something. Yeah. Like this came out of a pharaoh's tomb or something. You pay extra for that. That's what she said. You sure you want don't want some more brog? Is there any more left? No, I'll let you finish it. <laughs> it seems like you're really enjoying yourself. I don't want to ruin anything. Okay. Yeah, definitely musty. Um, it's like the ends of the bread. There's no good way about going and eating it. You just kind of have to suck it up and do it. It's like the old ends. Yeah, like you went through the entire bag and then there's just the ends left. And then they took those and stuck them in the bags. That's what this is kind of like. Well, we didn't die yet. Now um, time lapse twenty minutes, and we'll see where we are. That was the easiest twenty bucks I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> and how? Hmm. <laughs> so, does it get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? We'll see. All right. Depends on how my body reacts. Mm. Yeah. It, there's several things that could go wrong. That's an hinging factor. Yeah. It could be, like, so many things that would go wrong that would just, like, say no. Say no to MRE bread. <laughs> <laughs> this is a warning. You have to stop the bread before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. That generally may taste pretty good. Yeah. Except for, you know, the mummified mess. Alrighty. <coughs>